This is code.org, and I have my code that carried over from the last lesson. So if you don't have this type of code, go do the last bubble. Here's my Painter Plus class. I instantiated an object and just named it Plus. Of course, we could name this whatever we wanted. Sarah, Fred, whatever. Sassy. Um, I'm just going to stick with Plus for now, I guess. Uh, okay. And so what am I going to do? Call the method in the Painter Plus class on the Painter Plus object. Oh, wow, this is fancy. Uh, and navigate to the cone. Okay, so what they're trying to say here or point out that since this class extends, Painter Plus extends Painter, that means without even writing anything out, any Painter Plus object can do everything that the Painter class can do. And so let's test this out. I'm going to do plus. Now, whatever you named yours, Fred or whatever, make sure you write that here. Dot move. Boom. Step one. Okay. Now what? Well, they want me to get to the cone. Plus dot move. Right? Plus dot move. Boom. Cool. So far, so good. Now, again, guys, notice there's no declared methods in here. It's just using everything that was already in the painter class. So now I need to turn right, which is really three lefts, we know. Great. And now I need to move two more times. Looking good. Yep. And now if we really wanted to be fancy, keep in mind, we've learned wall loops too. So this would also be right. Can move, right? We could use our existing knowledge as long as I can move. The cool thing about code is there's not just one way to solve a problem. It also passes. Either way is correct. Anyways, let's, uh, yeah, keep going. Onward.